Let's look at some of the different ways to activate tools and use them and some little shortcuts that we can use to make our productivity a little bit faster and more efficiently in Softimage XSI. Okay, let's talk about how to use the middle mouse button to repeat commands. With this sphere selected, I'm going to go over here to poly mesh and I'm going to go down to subdivide polygon slash edges. And you can see the shortcut is shift D, but I'm going to go ahead and click on this menu item. What that does, it subdivides my polygon mesh here and pretty much breaks it apart into more polygons, increasing its resolution. And it opens up a little PPG, but I'm going to close it. I don't need it for now. If I want to repeat the last command I did in that specific menu item, which in this case is the poly mesh menu item, I don't have to left click and dig in here and go to the last uh, option that I used. What I can do instead is use the middle mouse button and just click once on poly mesh. When I do that, XSI will intelligently repeat the last command that I did for that menu item. So if the last command I did for this menu item in poly mesh was say dissolve components, every time I middle mouse button click on that, it's going to dissolve components until I use a different tool. So that's one way to quickly go ahead and access tools and things that you've already uh, performed recently. Let's look at sticky and super modes. What are these? Well, when you use tools in XSI, there's two different ways that you can use tools. You can use them in sticky mode, or you can use them in something called supra mode, which is also known as temporary mode. So let's see how that works. I'm going to use the Add Edge tool as an example. And if we go to Poly Mesh, you'll see that the Add Edge tool is located right here. And the shortcut key is the backslash key. I'm going to use the shortcut key because it's faster. So I'm going to hit the backslash key one time. I'm just going to tap it. And you can see our icon changes. And this shows us that we are in Add Edge Tool Mode. So what I can do is simply hover over any of these components, like edges and points, until they turn red. This tells me that I can go ahead and start to pretty much draw out and sketch out new edges onto this sphere. When I'm finished, I can either hit the escape key or hit the right mouse button key a couple of times and we'll be back to object mode. Alternatively, you could have also hit the spacebar key to go back to object mode as well. Now, that was sticky key mode. It's sticky key mode because when we tap the shortcut key, which in this case for the add edge tool is the backsplash key, we end up going into this mode and we don't have to do anything else. We just tap the button and it goes into the mode. If we tap it again, we go back to the last mode we were in. Let's look at temporary mode, also known as super mode. If we hit the backslash key, but we hold it down with our hand, we can actually use this tool just like we were using it before. So what's the difference? The difference is when I'm finished using the tool, I don't have to hit escape or use the right mouse button or hit the space bar, anything like that. All I have to do is select go of the backslash key and we automatically go back to the last mode that we were using. This is called supra mode because you hold down the key and when you let it go, you go back to whatever it was you were doing before. So it's two different modes and ways of using tools and keys in XSI that can come in very useful. Let's look at the auxiliary tool command. Let's go ahead and use the knife tool as an example. I'm going to go to poly mesh and you'll see the knife tool right here and the shortcut key is the open bracket key. I'm going to use the shortcut from now on because it's much faster. So I'll hit the open bracket key one time, which is sticky mode. And all I have to do is left click across here a couple of times and start to make these cuts across my sphere. So once we cut up our sphere and we're done, we can go ahead and hit the space bar, for example, which is one way to get out of the tool and go back to object mode. And we can see our cuts. But let's say, for example, I realized, oops, I forgot. I have to continue making some cuts down here. Um, I wasn't concentrating or I forgot or whatever. Well, instead of going all the way back here to poly mesh and activating the knife tool, and if you're too lazy to use the open bracket key, what you can do is use the auxiliary shortcut key. And the key for that is the comma key on your keyboard. So when I hit the comma key, XSI automatically activates the last tool that I was using, which in this case is the knife tool. So I can go ahead and finish doing these cuts that I was supposed to do down here. And when I'm finished, I can either hit escape or the space bar key. It really doesn't matter. If I want to go back to the tool, I can always hit the comma key again. Now, if the last tool that we used was the add edge tool, I'll go ahead and activate it in sticky key mode just by tapping the backsplash key one time. 
And I could come in here and start to add edges. And I'm finished adding edges. Oops, I want to go ahead and add some more edges down here. Well, all you have to do is hit the comma key and you'll go back to the last tool that you used. A very useful shortcut for go ahead and reactivating tools that you were using recently or the last tool that you were using actually to go ahead and increase your productivity and speed in Softimage XSI.